Howdy everyone, my name is Griffin Furlong. I'm a professional civil engineer, and in this series, I'm gonna be doing Q&A. So I'm actually getting questions from students out there about the world of civil engineering. So if you have any sort of topic or question that you wanna to send to me, you can send it right to my email. It's furlong.griffin at gmail.com. You can also send me a voice message if you want, if you wanna be featured on the channel. I just ask that you provide your name and then your age. All right, so let's actually get into the question of the day. The question of the day is about salary. So, hey Griffin, what is the typical salary range for a civil engineer? So how I want to start off this answer is that your salary will be very dependent on three different things. The first thing being geography. So someone in Florida might be making you know, a different salary than someone in, let's say, New York or California because of the cost of living. State income tax is a real thing. You know, Florida, we don't pay state income tax directly from our paycheck. I can only speak from Florida experience. Another thing that dictates your salary range is your company structure. So the size of your company, the different benefits program that they have, the different bonus pools that your company offers. So that has uh, a big impact on your salary. And then lastly is honestly experience. So someone who might have had three internships during their college career will most likely make a little bit more than someone who had no internship experience because you can actually negotiate for a higher salary when you come out of college. I'm about to give the salary ranges that I typically see, but just keep in mind that it really does vary based off geography, company structure, and experience. So I think entry-level engineers can experience anywhere between the low 60 to maybe low 70 range, and that's $60,000 to $70,000. Typically, after a year, you can start seeing low 70s to maybe even high 70s, depending on your performance throughout the year and the value that you're bringing to the company. Around year two, you can definitely see around high 70s, low 80s, really depends on that transition level. I feel like year two is really, really important for your growth and your value. Uh, if you continue to show up to work and you know learn more and more each day, I feel like you can really hit that, that low 80 mark or right at $80,000. This is that transition period between you being uh, you know, an EI to becoming a professional engineer because around that fourth year is when you, know, you probably should be thinking about taking the professional engineering exam. So now we've hit about year four. And again, every company is different. And the three things that I talked about, about geography, company truck structure, and experience really play a role. But as a fourth year professional engineer, you probably should expect any sort of range between mid 90 to low 100s. And that's really dependent on the company and your experience that you've gained through those four years that you had. So if you were doing a lot of design work, a lot of project management, and a lot of business management, you would expect to see you know, above that six-figure hump. That's all I have for today, guys. I hope this helps. If you want to send me a question, send it to my email at furlong.griffin at gmail.com. That email will be in the description below. Also, comment below if you have any questions. I'll, I'll answer questions from there too. Hope you guys have a good day and I will see you in the next video. Peace.